Sophie, just to explain, this is the start of week two. What do we know so far? Yeah, good morning to you both. We're here outside Manchester Crown Court where Ryan Giggs, former Manchester United player and former manager of the Welsh national side, as you say, is about to face the second week of his trial here. So he's been accused of three separate charges. The first is of an alleged assault against his ex-girlfriend, Kate Greville, in which allegedly caused actual bodily harm. Uh, that was supposed to be on the night of November 20th, 2020, at his home in Worsley, Greater Manchester. The second charge is the assault of her, uh, Ms Greville's sister, uh, which supposedly took place in the same alleged incident. The third charge is of, as you said, coercive and controlling behaviour during their relationship between August of 2017 and November 2020. Uh, Mr Giggs has denied all three charges, pleading not guilty. So last week we saw Ms Greville take the stand in court, where she... Apologies for the noise, we've chosen the right time with the bin men here. Uh, as I say, she gave evidence and she was cross-examined by the defence. The court heard her describe the alleged incident where she said she left alone from a night out after she'd argued with Mr Giggs. When he arrived home, the argument continued. The court then heard a recording of, the, of a 999 call made to the police by Miss Greville's sister at five past ten that evening. In the call, when she was asked what had happened, she said there was an assault, he headbutted her. She also said there was blood everywhere. The jury was then shown body cam footage of Mr Gig's arrest. So the trial is due to continue this morning. We're into the second week now. We don't know for sure what's going to happen, although the defence barrister, Chris Daw QC, told the jury last week that we could expect former Manchester United manager Alex Ferguson and Mr Gig's former Manchester United teammate uh, Gary Neville to take the stand alongside Mr Giggs' ex-wife Stacey Giggs. So it's predicted to last about 10 days this trial. We've seen five days so far. There's another five days to come, but that's if it sticks to the schedule here at Manchester Crown Court.